Hey everyone, Ryzen here. Today I'm going to show you how to build a custom real-time candlestick chart for tracking cryptocurrency prices completely from scratch, without relying on any external charts and libraries. Whether you follow along with me step by step or want to explore the complete implementation later, you'll find all the code in my GitHub repository linked in the description below. Let's start by creating a candlestick demo component that fetches the last 24 weeks of Bitcoin price data and renders it as a candlestick chart. This component will handle three states, loading error and success, ensuring a smooth user experience regardless of network conditions. The use asset price candles query hook we are using works as a React query wrapper for our price data fetching function. It accepts the same input parameters as our base function, but leverages React query to automatically handle important aspects like caching, loading states, and error management. Before diving into the chart implementation, we need to define our price candle data structure. We'll create a constant array of price fields, open, high, low, and close, that will help us iterate over them efficiently when rendering chart elements or displaying price information. Now let's implement the core functionality for fetching cryptocurrency price data from the Binance API. Our get asset price candles function will convert input parameters into the format Binance expects, manage the HTTP requests and transform the raw client data into structured candle objects. We are using TypeScript discriminated unions here to ensure type safety throughout this process especially with the candle duration type that restricts time intervals to only those supported by Binance API. With our data pipeline established, we are ready to implement the chart's visual components. Our chart will consist of several key elements, X and Y axis with appropriate labels, candlestick representations of price movements, and an interactive hover tracker that highlights individual candles while displaying their detailed price information. We need a system for generating meaningful Y-axis labels that work across any price range. The algorithm we are implementing determines the optimal step size between labels based on the data's range, creating visually balanced axis labels that use familiar increments like 1, 2, 2.5, 5, and 10, scaled to match the data's magnitude. The key to rendering our chart components at any size is normalizing the data to a consistent scale. Our utility function transforms multiple arrays of numerical data to the 0 to 1 range, making it easy to position elements using percentage-based measurements instead of absolutely pixel values. This approach provides flexibility when working with dynamic container sizes and eliminate the need for manual recalculation when the chart dimensions change. To ensure consistent sizing and spacing throughout our chart, we'll define a configuration object that centralizes all dimensional parameters. This approach makes it easy to fine-tune the chart's appearance and maintain proper proportions between its components without scattered magic numbers throughout our code. Now let's create a chart slice component to handle the layout structure of our chart. This component provides a two column grid where the first column contains Y axis labels and the second contains the chart's main content area. The chart Y axis component renders the vertical axis labels at positions determined by normalized data values. By using the 2% utility to convert normalized values to percentage based CSS positions, we can place labels at their proper vertical positions regardless of the chart's physical height. The position absolutely center horizontally component serves as a position utility that places elements at specific vertical positions while centering them horizontally. This approach creates a clean responsible layout where elements maintain their relative positions when the container dimensions change. The uniform column grid component provides the flexible container layout for our candlesticks, ensuring they are evenly distributed across the chart width. This responsive grid automatically adjusts columns width based on available space while maintaining consistent gaps between elements. With configurable parameters for spacing and sizing constraints, it creates the perfect foundation for visualizing time series data where each column represents a distinct time interval. 
The chart's interactivity relies on the hover tracker component, which handles mouse movements to create a responsive hover experience. This component captures mouse positions, converts them to normalized coordinates within the chart, and identifies parent components when user interacts with specific data points. By separating this tracking logic into a reusable component, we maintain clean separation of concerns while providing a consistent hover experience throughout the visualization. Now that we've established the core chart structure, we need to create the candlestick component, the visual heart of our chart. This component renders each price candle with a thin tail representing the full price range from high to low and a wider body showing the opening and closing prices. It uses color to instantly communicate price movement, green for bullish candles where the price increased and red for bearish ones where the price decreased. When hovered, an indicator line appears to help users track the selected candle. To complete our interactive chart, we need to create a tooltip component that displays detailed price information when users hover over a candle. The candlestick info component uses floating UI to position itself optimally near the cursor, providing a clean, non-intrusive way to show the date and OHLC values. That's open, high, low, close for selected time period. To complete our chart, we need to implement the x-axis that displays time labels. The chart x-axis component intelligently handles label placement to prevent overlapping text, making it suitable for any chart width or data density. It calculates optimal label positions based on container dimensions, expected label size, and minimum spacing requirements. For time series data, this ensures readable date markers that maintain consistent spacing whether the chart shows a few days or several months of data. And there you have it. By building this chart from scratch, we've created something that's not only flexible and customizable, but also completely under our control. No more fighting with bloated charts and libraries or dealing with limited customization options. If you found this tutorial helpful, please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. I'm always working on new projects and techniques to share with you. Drop a comment below if you have any questions or suggestions for future videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.